Now that's a pretty bag of dog food, isn't it? Just had our morning fasted cardio ball sesh. And guess what, Maggie? Today's a big day. You're transitioning to be a vegan dog now. I've been feeding Maggie a combination of Buckley's food, who are my parents' dog. It's not vegan dog food, but we have a huge, huge bag of it, and I didn't want to buy a new one until I got this stuff. So Maggie's been eating some of Buckley's food, and I also feed her carrots, lettuce, sweet potatoes. She loves lots of plants and human foods that I like. But finally, the V-Dog bag has come in. I'm so excited to try this stuff out, and hopefully this will be Maggie's main food source. So let's see how it goes. What I'm going to do is mix some of the V-Dog with the food she's been eating over the last week and a half and probably over a five day period fully transition out Buckley's food so she's only on this stuff and the stuff that I feed her that I eat so let's try it out so let's see what this is mainly made of we got peas pea protein which is good dogs do need more protein percentage calories than humans brown rice oatmeal potato protein a little bit of oil alfalfa Brewer's yeast, that's like nooch. Yes, they're eating nooch. Flax seeds, millet, wow, it's really good stuff. And then fortified with tons of vitamins, B12, cranberry, there's fruits in there, uh, minerals. Wow, it has a lot of ingredients, but all things that I understand and know, and honestly, I eat myself, so. They sent me some treats too. Maggie definitely needs some bones. She loves chewing things. And I'm so excited about this. A plant-powered bandana. Ah! You ready to try it or do you just want to play ball? It's really all you care about. Food is an afterthought. And it looks like any other kibble you would find. There's the meat kibble. There's the vegan kibble. She'll never know. And again, I did not buy any meat kibble. It was already here, I've just been using it, and now it's gonna be all this. Okay, Maggie, you ready to show all your skills? Stay. 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 Okay. Good girl. Okay, first taste test. Do a review for us, Mags. She's like, hmm, I feel like my cholesterol is lowering already. I think the verdict is in, my friends. The V-Dog is a success. Okay, and, and... starting to understand how to organize having a little vegan commune here. You have to allot certain positions to people because I'm very controlling by nature, I'll be honest. I like to be responsible and in charge and be the leader in situations, but that burns you out. I'm so far behind in the vlog, I'm pretty tired. So I got some friends to go to the farmer's market and we all put in money and put in what we wanted and they're doing the farm our run while I can do my work, which is so much better than me going to the farmer's market and taking them, which I was going to do. I'm learning. Nice, what'd you get, bro? Tell us, uh, tell us how the session was. We got these amazing tangerines for um, 10 pounds for $10. Right here, it's a pretty yeah. good deal. Um, we got some super ripe persimmons for Christine because she wanted them. Mm -hmm. Those are like six bucks though, that was expensive. Yeah. But it's like end of season. Yeah. Um, we got tons of avocados. Whoa, pomelos. So we got. I love pomelos. <laughs> Put that next to your face, Christine. Those, that's uh, wild. Do you think that's, is that the biggest citrus in the world, the pomelo? Is there it's any. Is there any yeah, citrus that be? I was like obsessed with the pomelos. Fortes? These are Zutanos actually. Wow. Um, they're very thin skin. Yeah, those pomelos are wild. You can actually eat the skin on these. Really? These were three for five bucks. That was a good deal. Solid. And we got you a, a head of kale for a yeah. buck. That was cool. Uh, broccoli. Was oh, those pear, those uh, Lots of avos. We got two bacon avocados. Those were five bucks. Yeah. 
Got some navels. That was a perfect session. Thank you for going, squad. Yeah. Really appreciate distributing the uh, activities. It it helps the flow. Uh, we got a good workout in too, carrying all that. Yeah. I mean, how are we gonna <laughs> how are we gonna get on YouTube without you, Jackson? I know, right? We need you to make those videos. You don't need to be on YouTube. You touch people with your hands and make magic and help their body. We all serve the community in our own ways. Cool. <laughs> Squad's heading back to Venice to go hang out with the monkeys and the acrobats <laughs> at the Human Jungle Gym. And Maggie is doing so well oh, laying on everyone. Well, really, I should ask, how are you guys doing with Maggie laying on you? We're good. We're She's keeping us nice and warm. Yeah. She's got yeah. a big old seal. <laughs> going to the jungle gym. Maggie and I are gonna go for a run. You're being so good. Thank you for waiting for me. And I bought her some shoes, guys, because we're gonna be running uh, on all kinds of surfaces from dirt trails to asphalt and in cities. Um, we need some shoes for her so that she doesn't wear down her paws. I bought these, they came online. They look so awesome. Let's see how she likes them. Come on. They're being so good. How do those fit? just make Instagram posts for Maggie's account while she has to rest from our run. You just have to take it slow. We're in no rush, baby. I want to be totally real also. Maggie has served me in my life already. She's such a blessing in that I am less concerned about my exercise and perfecting it in a certain amount of time. Like normally if I was going to go take a run, I'd want to go at least six miles uninterrupted and get it done. Now that I have Maggie, I'm, I'm so much more focused on her progress and health and safety that I'm just here for her. I'm fine to take breaks. We're going to get a nice little workout in, but I'm not as obsessed about controlling it, which has caused some self-harm to me in the past. So thank you, Maggie, for being yet another blessing to my life. So what do you guys think of the human monkey jungle gym? It's awesome. It's amazing and inspirational. This is so cool. There's literally so much talent. And it's nice to work out in a climate that is so much like more about socializing also it's like you get your workout in a little bit you socialize eat some food it's not all about just like hunkering down get it done 
It's about really enjoying being social, learning from each other, and playing with your body. There's no equipment needed. Like, sure, some people have fun things. Like, I got on those for the first time, which was awesome. Um, but just humans hanging out and playing around in their human ways, pushing the limits of how we can functionally move. All right, what'd you guys think of the jungle gym? It was amazing. It was so cool. Dude, you're gonna freak out. <laughs> <laughs> Joe uh, decided, well, yeah, Joe decided to hang out today, but you're gonna love it, dude. We gotta go back. I'm already obsessed. There's just people acroing, uh, doing pull-ups and slacklining. It's just a, a human functionality jungle gym. And what'd you guys make while we were gone, Aspen? Date oat cookies. Yeah. Ooh, they're like mountains. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, you guys did it together. You do everything together. Uh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Banana bread and a cookie, pretty much. Pretty much. Right. Perfect. What else could you want? These are so fucking good. Mmm. They're like crispy on the outside and doughy on the inside. Yeah. We yeah. need to make like a recipe book based on the cooking that has come out of this hangout of this fam, right? We've made some amazing things. Uh, you got the deliciousness that that Aspen makes. I make smoothies. We could come up with something. All right, another crazy day is settling into dinner eating mode. And Aspen, what delicatessen delicacy are you making now? Uh, popcorn. Whoa. Wee! Wow. Is that rice There's popcorn in a pot. Popcorn in a pot. Oh. It's gonna be really, really hot. Really hot. It's gonna make me oh, make a knot. I'm gonna tie my hands to you. I'm gonna see my life in blue. I'm gonna do the Scooby Doo and I'm gonna lick your face until I eat that corn. Oh my god, popcorn. corn. That was a good rhyme, huh? Um. <gasps> could be from Footer Butt. Hey Maggie, how do you like your V-Dog? She loved it again. We're doing half and half for a little while for an easy transition. Good girl, I love you so much. You did so good today with all the people. I love you, baby. I, you're my one. I love you. Every day, I'm gonna adventure. Here's what I put together for dinner, having a very chill night. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing. I have a mountain of plants. Steamed vegetables, green split peas, nooch, sweet potato, sriracha, and a beautiful salad with Dijon mustard, balsamic vinegar, apple cider vinegar, oranges, veggies, and throw some tahini and pumpkin seeds in there. Oh, perfect. Well, this doesn't often happen, but we watched some Curb Your Enthusiasm and sh cuddled and hung out as a fam and just chilled out and now everyone's gone to bed and I'm about to jump in and I realize I've forgotten I'm a vlogger. I was that present with my friends. Sorry Maggie, I shouldn't shine this light. Buckley's sleeping right down there, scratching himself before bed. Do your thing, dude. You're your own being. And Maggie's here. She sleeps right there, right beside me. Can't put this down. Much love, Dream Extreme. We love you all. Tomorrow we need to rest or something. We'll see. Much love, dream extreme. What a beautiful day, a beautiful life we're living.